whoever is a genuine client of margayas only they are ready to pay him okay only they pay partial amount so whoever had invested in margayas financial institution all of them come back asking for money back so due to this loss of account book what and all are the complications that have taken place in margayas life so when he shows his horoscope to the priest priest suggests him to do lakshmi puja Hello everyone. I am Dr. Shalini, professor of English, Vidyashram First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence, Mysore. Today we are here to discuss about the summary of the text prescribed for you. That is the financial expert. We are going to discuss the part-wise summary of the text prescribed for third semester BCom. Let us begin part-wise. So, like uh, we have various parts. It is five parts into which the text is divided. okay so we are going to discuss about it in today's session we'll have it in two sessions first session that is today's session we are going to discuss the first two parts in the next session we'll be discussing the remaining three parts okay so what is there in today's module we are going to discuss the part wise as i said so what is there in today's module what are we going to learn so i'll just give you an overall short summary of the whole novel okay after that we'll go with part 1 then we'll cover the part 2 also okay so let's begin our session so first thing i said was the overall summary of financial expert so this we are going to discuss at first in a nutshell i am going to give you the story of the financial expert that is the text prescribed for you okay so to begin with the author rk narayan begins with uh, the margayas work okay that is in front of the cooperative bank so here he works under a banyan tree in front of the bank okay so here you must uh, know that i am just telling you this uh, summary because if you know the story overall story then you'll be able to write it on your own so it's good to know the story it's good to know the summary fine So uh, as we started, uh, Margaya works in front of the cooperative bank under a banyan tree. He keeps helping the villagers in getting the loans from the cooperative bank. Okay, he has an iron box in which he has some uh, applications for loan and all. Then he has some uh, maybe an ink pot and uh, an old pen. So all these he'll have. It is his possession. Okay, inside that iron box he will have all these. Okay, he considers it as his sole possession. Fine. so uh, people come to him uh, asking for help to apply for loans in the cooperative bank for various reasons okay so if they directly approach the cooperative bank there might be one or the other reason wherein the loan might be rejected okay but if they go through margaya it was a sure shot that it would be done so whenever he applies for some loan or something he just takes some commission okay so that was what margaya's work was fine So here, it actually uh, the whole story is about how Margay was working. What is his downfall? What is his rise? Then again, he returns to his original uh, position. Okay. So first is actually Margay's downfall. Okay. Initially, you cannot consider it as downfall because at what stage he was, he just comes down a little bit. Okay. So you can write here Margay's downfall if at all you are asked. Okay. You, there are two points you which you can discuss. But initially, I'm just telling you the summary. So uh, just uh, know the story. That's enough. Okay. So Margay, he um, deals with people and he has an account book wherein he has uh, information about who should pay how much for him. okay about the loans and all but what happens when he goes back home one day and his uh, son wants him to play with okay so he what he does he has no time to play with because he was just looking at the accounts so son gets angry and he just pulls the account book he throws it to the gutter okay so here here, here comes the gutter incident okay gutter incident is very famous in uh, uh this one the financial expert okay so that starts that that is the beginning of margaya's um what to say you the change in life of margaya okay so here gutter incident is very important so what he does he loses track of whoever had to pay him money okay so that is gone to the gutter finally margaya is literally left with no money at all 
okay he almost loses all the money what he has to get whoever is a genuine client of margayas only they are ready to pay him okay only they pay partial amount okay so only that is paid so he is literally left with no money then he thinks of ways in which he can earn money okay either to do business or maybe some other way then finally he goes and meets a priest okay the priest suggests him to do a lakshmi puja perform a lakshmi puja wherein he will be able to earn money okay so margaya does that and when he goes to get a fetch a lotus flower for puja then he meets dr pal okay so there when he meets dr pal there a, a way is uh, shown to him to earn money to margaya okay so that is very important that is the lotus pond incident okay so that can also be mentioned there so from there begins margaya's rise okay his meeting with dr pal okay his meeting with dr pal paves him new way to earn money okay then dr pal shows his uh, what to say the manuscript that he has written about the marital happiness okay so margaya buys it from dr pal and he gets it published in his name fine then it is such a uh, what to say success that margaya gets lot of money with from that and finally what happens margaya uh, he starts his own business like fun, uh, finally he gets back to his um, what to say the uh, old profession of lending money but this is in a in much higher level okay so he begins like a financial uh, institution wherein people come and um, pledge the documents and they they take loan okay so finally he also asks people to deposit money wherein he can give them interest also okay so he gets sacks and sacks of um, money he takes it home okay he has no time to count it also so he was so much into earning of money that he neglects his family okay so his son balu uh, just ha- fails in exams in his exams even after two and three attempts okay so he completely neglects the family and finally balu runs away from home also because of the pressure he is facing from his father okay so that after the rise of margaya all these happens okay so then uh, margaya goes to madras uh, like uh, one day uh, meenakshi that is margaya's wife receives a message that balu is dead in madras okay so she is completely dejected she doesn't want to live and all then finally margaya upon his uh, brother's suggestion just goes to madras and he looks for his son he finds him and with the help of a police inspector and he brings him back to malgudi okay then finally both the husband and wife decide that they have to keep balu happy okay then finally somehow they get him married also even though the horoscope doesn't match they get him married to a girl called brinda okay so then later what happens um, there is a, a rift between the father and uh, the son that is balu and margaya for the ancestral property balu instigated by dr pal goes and asks um, ancestral pro- the, uh, the part a share in ancestral property from margaya okay so then later uh, margaya feels very bad that he scolded his son for asking ancestral property and when he goes to visit balu at night then what happens uh, there he comes to know he learns that every day dr pal visits uh, his house and every day they are out for long hours in the night okay so when balu and uh, um, dr pal return in the wee hours of night then uh, by that time brinda had already confessed to her father in law about balu's whereabouts then when they come back he gets furious looking at dr pal that for spoiling balu's life then he beats him up nicely then from then the downfall of margaya starts again that is he returns to his earlier state how does it happen uh, dr pal actually goes around disgracing margaya okay he spreads bad words about margaya saying he has rejected him he has cheated him everything so whoever had invested in margaya's financial institution all of them come back asking for money back okay so they wanted their uh, deposits back okay so after this margaya had to give them return all the money to them then finally he becomes bankrupt so he had to sell all the jewels and all what was done what was um, what he got done um, when he got money okay so everything he returns and finally he comes back to his original state which he was there in the initial part of the that is the beginning of the novel
okay finally balu also returns home he decides to stay with his father and uh, mother there okay so both the families are united now and dr pal is kept away from margaya's life so this is the overall summary okay so this is the whole story so if you know this you can just go on expanding so to begin with we'll start with part 1 okay we have so many things to understand in part 1 okay so i'll just tell you the gist of what is there in part 1 okay so uh, like when we come back to class we can have more of discussion so i'll just tell you what is there in part 1 so if you remember these uh, points you can go on expanding okay so you can go on expanding yeah so first thing that is described is margaya's workplace okay so you must remember it is the banyan tree and the bank okay so you must remember this and the iron box so these are the things you have to remember when you are talking about margaya's workplace okay so there were many clients also for margaya so you can mention their names also like we had earlier discussed about the clients of margaya one of the previous sessions we had discussed about the clients of margaya okay that is kanda mallanna all these you can write about if you are writing about the workplace of margaya so it starts with margaya's workplace part 1 starts with the uh, pictureization of margaya's workplace and few clients who come to visit margaya for loan purpose okay so when we come to margaya's home after this margaya's home is described there it is actually partition between uh, margaya's brother and margaya okay so the whole house is partition but at the backyard there is a well there is a well at the backyard which is not partition okay on humanitarian grounds margaya has agreed to lend water lend water in the sense share water you can say lending instead of lending you can say share water share water with his brother from that is got from the well okay so that is uh, very important here though the house is partitioned the well is not partitioned okay so the pictureization of house is given here in the uh, that is in the first part that is the initial part so that is there then this is one of the important incidents that happens okay so balu is very he is very naughty okay so he doesn't listen either to his mother or his father okay so what happens one day like usually when margaya goes out for work uh, meenakshi will be looking after uh, balu as soon as margaya comes back from work uh, meenakshi will give will hand over balu to margaya and she is very much uh, into the household chores okay so what happens balu is being looking looked after by margaya okay so one day what happens um, balu is playing with a wick okay wick uh, he just rolls a paper uh, in the form of a wick and he tries to burn that okay so here what happens he accidentally burns his finger okay balu accidentally burns his finger okay so after that he makes such a hue and cry that everybody there is so uh, like they get scared and they run to their house so meenakshi runs back to home and uh, she just she was outside washing vessels or something then she just runs inside and uh, she asks margaya what happened so finally he tells i could have avoided him but i wanted to see what he does so i did not avoid him he says then finally meenakshi blames margaya for being very careless towards the child okay so then balu's only one finger was burnt in a very little it was burnt okay but still he doesn't allow anybody to touch him he demands for peppermint okay so here you can just understand the mentality of the mindset of balu okay from childhood right from childhood only he was too adamant okay he was too adamant arrogant okay he never used to obey the parents whereas margaya was too much attached to his son so he does whatever the son wants him to do he gets peppermint he doesn't touch the child like he nobody is allowed near the child because the hand is burnt and he doesn't he wants everything to be served to him uh, the the place where he was sitting only so such type of treatment is given to balu when he has burnt his hand only okay so at that time only had they bent him okay so probably he would have changed but they didn't do it they showed lot of love towards balu so he becomes very adamant okay so that you have to understand here he has just burnt a finger so this is the burning of a finger in the lamp so that incident happens after that is the conversation between arul das and margaya 
okay arul das as you know he is a what is it the pion of the cooperative bank okay he is a christian okay he is a christian so he is the only uh, bridge between the cooperative bank and margaya so whatever the secretary in the cooperative bank says he comes and delivers it to he comes and conveys it to margaya okay so that is what the uh, pion that is arul das does so one day what happens uh, he constantly secretary has been warning margaya to uh, stay away from the cooperative bank but margaya hadn't done it so one day arul das gives a strict warning okay he gives him strict warning to stay away from the uh, cooperative bank but later margaya he gives such a back answer that secretary feels so uh, annoyed he he just comes out of the cooperative bank that is during the closure of the day what he does is he secretary himself comes back comes out of the cooperative bank and he has a dispute with margaya he quarrels nicely with margaya okay the secretary quarrels nicely with margaya finally he has he takes that Uh, those uh, application forms which were there in uh, uh, margaya's iron box and he throws it okay he says this is uh, the property of the cooperative bank how come it is with you okay he says that and he just takes it away and he confiscates it okay so he just throws everything that is the iron box and all then margaya just takes everything and he feels very insulted in front of everybody okay then he just takes the, takes everything that is his belongings and he leaves the place okay then uh, all the clients who were there near him think that uh, margaya is not going to come the next day but again margaya comes in a different appearance from the next day so what happens he goes to work more tidily okay from the next day margaya starts going to work more tidily what does he do so which whatever he was wearing for some wedding or something okay he wears a neatly ironed dhoti okay almost a new one which he used to wear for wedding and all okay so that one he will wear and he goes for work meenakshi is so astonished so to see him in such an attire she thinks that he, he is going for some wedding but no he is going for work he thinks the way he appears in front of uh, villagers or in front of secretary is the root cause of all this dispute that has happened okay had he been tidily dressed then he wouldn't have been touched by the secretary that is what margaya feels okay so that's the reason he goes more tidily for work okay that day while returning from work margaya actually was very much obsessed uh, with the thoughts of earning money okay like after when this uh, secretary after he told margaya to stay away from cooperative bank he feels that his uh, earning might go down so what he thinks he feels that he has to look for ways in which he can earn money okay so what he does he is fully obsessed with the thoughts of money only okay then he just goes to a priest there near the uh, that is in the temple nearby okay he just goes and meets the priest so he asks him what can be done to earn money okay so priest who was a very pious man he gives a lot of information to margaya about he doing a puja for the for a boy who was there uh, like he takes him also to that uh, place and he shows how puja can be done in order to change somebody's life okay so with this margaya is assured that yes he can earn money by doing some puja okay so then he after he meets a meets the priest then what he does he uh, actually priest says with puja you can change your life so you can get ways in which you can earn money so after that he goes home with the thoughts of money only earning money only he goes back home okay after that the gutter incident happens okay so gutter in incident occupies a very important uh, position in uh, uh, this novel okay this is a short short question in your question paper okay this will be asked one or the other way this will be there in your question paper okay so here uh, when it comes to gutter incident you must write about balu taking that uh, register which uh, that is account book which margaya had maintained and throwing it into the gutter so let me not uh, repeat it here because we have already repeated almost three or four times about this gutter incident so just do that and uh, here also you can see the um, adamant way in which uh, balu behaves okay he throws it to the gutter finally when margaya goes and starts beating balu people over there they come and save balu thinking margaya is unnecessarily beating this child 
okay then finally when everybody saves when many people come and save balu balu say balu demands for peppermint again from the nearby shop so when margaya comes to know that balu is not going to spare me balu is not going to leave me like this he decides he has to get the peppermint and finally he just takes him home without speaking any word okay so this is about the gutter incident after that so due to this loss of account book what and all are the complications that have taken place in margaya's life okay so people don't pay money okay people don't return money to margaya okay so then many of them who had to play uh, uh, pay him okay especially this uh, person kali had to pay has uh, owed him lot of money okay but what uh, kali does is uh, he knows that uh, uh, margaya has lost his account book so what he does he says i have to uh, pay you only so much and he just pays partial amount that is very little amount negotiable amount and he just settles whatever has to be paid that's it that was the end of it finally next when we go there then again margaya goes and meets the priest okay so there now be, before he was just obsessed with the thoughts but now it has become a necessity this becomes a necessity for him to pay the like he has to earn money okay so then he goes and meets the priest asking him what to do so the priest suggests uh, margaya to go and get his horoscope okay so after seeing the horoscope uh, the priest can suggest what can be uh, done to earn money okay so horoscope uh, he he just goes and searches for his horoscope okay it is at this point that margaya's uh, original name is known to the readers okay so here at this point of time the original name of margaya that is uh, krishna okay original name is krishna this is known to the readers okay so he goes and searches for the horoscope so when he was searching also meenakshi and balu they both come and sit with him okay so they are also very keen on knowing what he is searching so he goes there he searches for his horoscope he gets it and then he takes it to the priest so when he shows his horoscope to the priest priest suggests him to do lakshmi puja this is also a very important incident in uh, this financial expert that is because that is that becomes the reason for the rise of margaya okay so he suggests him to do this lakshmi puja and he suggests a few things that have to be done that is he has to smear this ghee in the skin of uh, antelope okay so everything uh, priest said uh, margaya has to arrange so margaya what he does he just goes in search of uh, the lotus flower okay so one red lotus flower has to be got then after that he also has to get ghee okay he has to get ghee that is prepared out of the milk of a, a brown color that is a ash color uh, cow okay so then he ask he goes in search of that also okay so he goes in search of uh, this one uh, lotus uh, flower first okay so that is the pond incident okay lotus uh, flower pond incident and he, after he uh, just goes in search he thinks he has to go home and get it prepared okay get the place prepared he had to start his uh, puja on one particular day that is the uh, full moon day he had to start it on the full moon day so what he does he goes back that is uh, maybe two days was left for puja so he goes back and tells meenakshi to get the place cleaned okay the room in which he has to do uh, he has to perform the puja he orders meenakshi to clean the place okay so he orders meenakshi to clean the place for his puja then she does it very religiously okay so you know the character of meenakshi isn't it she is a very pious lady she obeys whatever the husband says okay she doesn't she never uh, goes away by the words of her husband okay so she cleans the place for him she cleans that room for him okay but she at the same time meenakshi though she is obeying whatever her husband says she is also awed by his she is not uh, awed means it is not a kind of surprise but it is a kind of irritation okay she is getting annoyed by the way he is behaving okay so all his activities are uh, just annoying her okay so she feels it is too much fine she is very much annoyed by this but still she does everything she cleans the room for him and all by that time margaya just goes in search of that lotus flower okay so then he uh, begins this puja on a full moon day as i said uh, they might ask you for one mark question also on that is when did he begin his puja okay 
so one more questions can be anything you just have to go through the novel uh, few and here and there few important points might be you have to just remember okay so such points are one of those okay so he begins it on the uh, full moon day uh, so he does it as per the specifications of the priest okay so he begins it like specifications of the priest means the flower color what he has told the milk the ghee that has to be prepared from one particular cow that is the milk got from one particular cow so like this so all those specifications are maintained okay so finally he goes in search of red lotus as i said so here you have to write about the pond incident which becomes the reason for margaya's rise okay so there he meets dr pal so this becomes a very detailed uh, what to say the explanation as to how was dr pal's meeting with uh, uh, margaya then how does dr pal take margaya to his house so everything is told in detail over here okay so i suggest you to read the incident there in the text so that it will be like you can pictureize okay rk narayan's uh, description you can just pictureize in your mind okay so he goes and meets dr pal this is the pond incident okay this is the pond incident and you can also write about margaya's visit you can also write about margaya's visit to dr pal's room okay so there dr pal's actually talks about the manuscript he has written okay manuscript dr pal has written so here there is a discussion about the uh, dr pal's um, book okay so there is a discussion about dr pal's book that is the bed life okay so he discusses but he doesn't go deeper into that okay he thinks yes this person is little weird and he just comes out he whatever he wanted that is the lotus flower whatever he wanted he gets it and he comes back here there is no discussion about the business that is going to happen this is not the time where he doesn't uh, buy the manuscript okay at this point of time dr pal just tells him about the book and margaya leaves the place okay so after that uh, maybe for uh, so many days margaya does this lakshmi puja okay he comes out of the room he doesn't go out of the room at all from morning to evening he has to chant uh, mantras and all for lakshmi puja and he has no time almost 101 times he had to uh, chant it and he doesn't have time to go out to the that is show his uh, face to the outside world at all he is completely inside the house only so he feels lost to the outside world people hadn't seen him for days together okay so that happens and finally when he comes out of the house after puja he has lost weight he has grown his beard okay he is completely a different person okay so people are surprised to see him outside the house finally many people ask him where had you been margaya all these days okay so that is what happens when he comes out of the house okay so here as i said he appears to have lost weight since he has grown his beard and all he appears very weak also okay so almost most of his money he had spent for puja okay he had spent so much of money that he didn't have money to buy the provision also okay so that much money he had spent on puja so whatever savings he had everything he had spent and he had nothing to buy the provisions also for home okay so he go, goes out in the street and meets people also okay so as i said many of them ask him where he was all these days fine afterwards he goes and meets dr pal also okay this is because he thinks about his situation he has no money to do anything he has to earn money one or the other way in one or the other way okay so the easiest way he has got is to discuss about dr pal about the manuscript okay dr pal actually speaks about getting the book published earlier when margaya had met him but margaya was not serious about it but now since he doesn't have any money for his household expenses also he decides to meet dr pal and he goes and meets him okay dr pal speaks again he speaks about his book and he offers margaya to buy the manuscript finally he buys the manuscript for how much margaya says like margaya was not very serious about the business so he just wanted to get rid of uh, dr pal there but at the same time if he gets this book published people are going to read it because this everybody wants to read about it but nobody wants to discuss in public okay so he thinks that people will buy this book and what he decides 
he says i don't have much money so but dr pal is ready to give it away he is ready to sell the book for whatever money margaya has in his pocket okay so margaya was surprised he just whatever was there in his pocket he just gives him saving 5 rupees for himself he just pays all the money and he gets the manuscript after getting it he immediately starts from there and directly goes home okay but he didn't want that to be seen by the child or by his child or his wife so he just goes home and he though he carried the manuscript home he conceals it in a, a newspaper and he hid it from everyone he just keeps it inside the uh, almira you can say okay like we, uh, nowadays we use this wardrobe so previously they were using almiras and all so inside that he will he just hides it but later in the night margaya talks about this manuscript to his wife okay so he tells about this manuscript to his wife okay she feels very shy very embarrassed to discuss about it or such a topic but then uh, she is also interested in that so what margaya does he reads one or two uh, chapters over there in that book for her she is inquisitive to know what is there but at the same time she is not ready to accept that she is understanding such a topic okay so she is very reluctantly she listens to what margaya reads also so after that what he does the next morning he directly goes to the gordon printing press okay so this is very important uh, question they will ask you for one mark so she goes to gordon uh, press and he talks about publication of that manuscript okay he wants to change the name he cannot keep the same name like the bed life he cannot keep the same name so he wants to change the name for that finally he discusses with madan pal who is the publisher okay so he what he does is he reads the manuscript completely madan uh, lal actually first says no i have to read the uh, uh, book and then only i'll let you know whether it has to be published or not then margaya says okay read it in front of me i'll sit in front of you but madan pa madan lal is not ready to do that he says you leave the manuscript with me but Ma margaya doesn't agree for that he says no whatever uh, you are reading you are going to do it in front of me only i am not going to leave the manuscript with you finally madan lal just budges he says i'll get a breakfast for you i'll get food for you you stay here only finally by the end of the day okay the business is finalized Ma madan lal agrees to publish the book here you must notice margaya doesn't want to show that he doesn't know anything about publishing of book okay uh, though madan lal he uses many technical words like the size of the sheet the quality of the paper everything he discusses with margaya but margaya though he doesn't know anything about it he speaks in such a way that he knows so many things okay so you must know you must understand how margaya does it very diplomatically so go through the text there okay so finally they conclude with 50 50% of um, profit they wanted to share their profit so he does that he agrees and he leaves the manuscript for publishing and he comes back okay after that balu is admitted to school okay balu is admitted to one of the nearby schools there then finally uh, murti uh, is the name of a person who is appointed as a home tutor for uh, balu okay so murti will be appointed as home tutor there then uh, yeah balu is not a very serious student he was not a student in the school he doesn't study well there okay he just go one day margaya just checks the condition of balu's room okay it was very uh, it was uh, helter skelter all the books were just helter skelter not at all neat it was very much disorganized okay his room was very much disorganized he doesn't keep the things back from where it has been taken and the same way uh, you can just judge the character of balu also he was not organized in his life okay he just wanted to be uh, very easy going he wanted to just enjoy his father's money so such type of character was balu fine so you can just write about this uh, you can you uh, just go through the um, place that is in part 1 only towards the end of part 1 you can read about the condition of balu's room okay so then margaya feels no this has to be corrected and he tries to correct balu also but he is very adamant he doesn't correct himself at all okay so that has been intricate in the character of balu also okay so that shows what is the character of balu then finally uh, margaya what he does he feels that he has earned enough and he wanted to give up this uh, publishing business okay he surrenders the book to the printer 
for a lump sum amount. He doesn't want loyalty hereafter. He just gives it to him for a lump sum amount. He just gets the money and fine. That is done. He just gets rid of this publishing business. This is done in, this is given in part one only. So by this we have covered uh, the part one and uh, part two of uh, the financial expert. So in the next session we will be discussing about part three, four and five that are there in financial expert. These three uh, are very uh, short parts. Okay. Very less text is there. Part one is the longest part. Okay. So let us discuss about the remaining parts in the coming session. Hope this session was very interesting to you. So see you soon in another more interesting session of the remaining parts of Financial Expert. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. See you soon.